Hello everybody, today I have a, a bit of a, a shopping haul uh, for you guys. I went to the store, I went to actually one of uh, my favorite stores and um, as of lately I really like Majestic Craft Store. They sell, uh, well they sell salon products but they also sell a lot of really cool homemade handmade items and um, so I went there and I had some fun. I found catnip toys for my cat and they're hand sewed. These ones, I had gotten some before there and they were like yarn ones. Um, these ones were, uh, I don't know, they were like two for a, uh, two for a, uh, a dollar, I believe. And, um, no, I'm making I'm making some noise here. Uh, they were two for a dollar, and then I um, well, if I can find it, I grabbed one of the cards for one of the crafters that looks very cool. It's the Main View Custom Design, and they had some cool uh, stuff there. I actually have a few cards um, that I keep on my because they do a lot of uh, local crafters there. And um, so I've got like three different cards uh, from different local crafters and they have different ones all the time and sometimes they get new ones each month. So the crafters kind of rotate because they pay for the space to sell their stuff. And um, so I'd gotten some yarn catnip toys for my cat before there that he loved. Um, he was obsessed with them, and uh, they were by a different crafter there, uh, and they, that was like, they were like two, three dollars. They were a little bigger and a little more expensive. These ones were uh, two dollars, and you get two of them, and uh, they have like a Bruins one, and so my cat, I'm sure he's going to love those. Hey, bear, come here. Got something for you. And then I had got a Boston Red Sox one. Here you go, bear. So they were a about a dollar each and I thought that was actually pretty good for cat toys for him um, especially since they're handmade and they're super unique like as you he was already batting at one he's already checking it out you can kind of see like see he loves those he goes nuts over the catnip toys and um, then there's this one lady there it's uh, I actually have her card and uh, it would be Buffet's Closet, I believe is the crafter. She makes hand, and I think I've showed some of her items on here before, she makes like handmade uh, doll clothes for like American Girl dolls, uh, My Life dolls, My Life ads, kind of like the 18 inch dolls and I actually have one that sits in my couch. It's not an American Girl doll. It's one of the ones from Target so I think it's like, must be like a My Life doll or something but it's outfit, it's there more for decoration and it's outfit gets changed every day or every few days and uh, I got, I can't remember if I showed these on a haul or not. I don't think I did. I got these once for the doll, which were like $7. And uh, so she got some shoes. It seems a little pricey, but it's definitely cheaper than American Girl. And then I got this, which was a dress. It was like $10. And uh, it actually comes with like a handmade bracelet for the doll. So that was kind of, uh, that was kind of cool. I was excited about that and it even comes with the hanger that actually hangs up in one of the closets I have here. So it's not super expensive um, compared to like what you'd pay in store for like American Girl doll. But it really actually depends on the outfit you get because some are more expensive than others. Uh, so if I go there and I get my doll something, I definitely uh, browse a little bit and look through to kind of get the best deal and like the cutest and cheapest outfit I can get that I like. Um, 
Then they also sell bath bombs there and I've been using a few lately. I kind of like them if I want like a relaxing bath. They have like eucalyptic ones there and a bunch of others and the, uh, this is Majestical Bath Bomb, so they're, they're uh, brands, and uh, it's got like sea salt, sunflower oil, fragrance oil, something else. It's like a lemongrass one. They have eucalyptus and a bunch of other stuff. Um, the Majestic, uh, the Majestic Enterprises, it's a beauty barber and salon supply store and as well as it has like handmade soaps and uh, like I said it and it has indoor it's also an indoor craft store so it's like got like multiple things there's the spaces where the cra uh, crafters they pay each month for the space and rent it and put all their items that you can buy and then the salon has items of their own and uh, they have a few different like uh, hair products and things. They actually, apparently, I found out today, um, a lot of the soaps they have there for like your hair, they actually like supply for some of the salons in the area. So the salons will buy for them and then they'll sell it in their store too. Um, so that was kind of interesting to find out. And then I also got one of these magnets and they sell them there and they're like $2.25. I actually have uh, two others on my fridge right now. I've been collecting them. I have a zebra one that I'd gotten there before and I have a little um, nightmare before Christmas one. And I really, really uh, like those. I think those are pretty cool. And sometimes they do different activities every month and they have like an outdoor craft fair too here and there and it's just kind of cool because like I said they're different main crafters and sometimes they rotate so they've got like I want to say over 25 that sell there but they have like I said a bunch of different spaces the crafters rent them bring their items and uh, it's kind of how some of the crafters they get their name their business name out and it's a way for them to make some money and then a lot of them also have Etsy sites and others and you can find their cards and things like that. Um, if you're ever curious who like the crafters are, um, I know every time I go in, not all of them leave their business cards, but when they do, I always, I always grab one because I find it interesting. Like the main view, their location is Frankfurt, Maine. And uh, so I think I've got like three cards. Um, if I find that like I like the crafter a lot. So that was kind of it for the shopping haul for today. It wasn't super long. Um, but I don't know. I just, I had some fun in there. I like going in there and seeing what different people make and getting an item here and there and like supporting local Mainers. Um, so like I said, it was a small one. I think I shared like four items. Um, but I think it was a fun one too. Actually, the dress that my doll had on here was an item from a past shopping haul I did there. Uh, or no, I, I showed six items, I think, because my, you can see the cat. Like I said, he loves their catnip toys. And uh, for only a few dollars, I mean, that's not pretty, that's not bad if it's going to keep him occupied. He's like tearing that thing. Um, because sometimes if you go on like runnies and places like that, the cat toys are even more expensive. And these ones are always unique. <laughs> um, and that's about it for today, guys. I hope everyone's having a nice summer day. Bye, everyone.